I'm going to show you right quick how you can test and check your multimeter leads to make sure that they're in good condition. This is good to do before you get ready to do any diagnostic work with your multimeter. If your leads are bad or they have a problem in them, it can give you some false readings. First of all, check to make sure the ends are tight, they're not loose, no crack in the plastic around them. Then check the wire. Run your fingers down it. Make sure there's no damage to the wire or the insulation of the wire. Make sure it's also fitted snugly in the multimeter. Do that with both of them. Next, you want to do an ohms check. That's where you test for any kind of resistance. An open circuit will read one and a closed circuit will read point zero. Put your leads together. You see we got a point zero. Hold them together, move your wires around some, and make sure it still stays at zero. If there's any shortages or any breakage in the wires in here, moving it around can affect it and it'll show up on there. So that looks good. All right, for demonstration purposes, I'm gonna use these old set of leads I have. They are no longer good. If you do your visual check, see on this one, it's got a little bit of cracking in the plastic. Check the wires. And on this red wire, you see right here, well, at some point, this wire's laid against something hot and it melted it. There's no bare wire showing, but that causes a problem. It damages the wire inside the insulation and causes a resistance. We're going to do our ohms check. Putting them together, you can see the numbers. They're just jumping around everywhere constantly. And if you move it, the more you move it, the more they jump around. That right there is a clear indication that these are no good. And if yours are doing that, throw them away and get you a new set. One other point I want to bring up is if you have damage to your wire leads like that, and if it was showing bare wire coming out of it, if you go test a high voltage system with this, with bare wires showing and you accidentally touching on some bare part of your body and you're grounded down, you're going to get a very bad shot. So that's, it, not only is it doing this is good for making sure you're getting good readings with your multimeter, but it's also a safety concern too. I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.